Hi everyone, this is Mrs. Alex and I'm coming to you from the middle school science lab. Sometime, one day you're going to be here just like I am. Um, I'm going to talk to you about vibrations. Vibrations are how we hear sound and a vibration travels through the air, travels through uh, a table and it travels through water, but it, it travels at different speeds. So you can hear a vibration traveling through, let's say the air or, or um, a table uh, uh, or water a lot differently. They sound a lot differently. So anyway, we all have our voices. And what I wanted you to do is you may have done this before, but please try it again. Can you put your hand very gently on your neck and say the ABCs partially? A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Let's just stop there. What did you feel happening when you put your fingers lightly on your neck? By the way, that area of your neck, that's called your, where your vocal cords are. It's where the air from your lungs go across your vocal cords, causing your vocal cords to vibrate. And that's how you hear sound. Those vibrations go through the air and into your ear where they go um, eventually up to your brain and your brain makes sense of all those vibrations and that's how you can speak words and I can understand what you're saying. Okay, so those are vibrations. Vibrations are like movements. I'm sure you've seen lots of things vibrate. I'm going to show you a common object that is vibrating. Okay, hold on a sec. This is a ruler. Hold on, let me let me make sure I can see the top of my head. This is just an ordinary plastic ruler. Plastic ones um, work the very best because they're more flexible. And wooden ones are just a little stiff, but they work also if that's what you have. Um, anything long and flat will vibrate. And you can try anything. I would suggest that you go around your house and look for different things to vi that vibrate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one hand and hold down really hard on this flat surface so that I don't want my, um, my ruler to fly through the air because uh, that won't be very funny and it might be dangerous. You won't see vibrations that way. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pluck. Did you see what happened? Tell someone else that might be around you what you see. Or raise your hand if you're in the classroom to be called on and tell us what you see. And what do you hear? anyone that can figure out why that happens. It changes pitch. So that's a vibration. What we're really going to do today is I'm going to give you a string that is tied to a spoon. I prefer that you not untie it and even though there are two strands of the string, I just want you to use one strand. And I want you, I mean, I mean, I want you to make it into one strand. Hold them together. Wrap them around your finger lightly. Don't squeeze the, you know, trap the blood in the end of your finger. And then you're gonna put it on the outside of your ear. Let's see if you can see where I am putting mine right there on that little thing right there or right in front of it. And I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna hit the table. That makes a nice sound, doesn't it? Yeah. So now what I'm gonna do 
and you can even see the, t the spoon vibrating when it hits the table. What I'm going to do is put my finger not in my ear, but right next to my ear, in the front of my, my ear, towards my face. And I'm going to, I'm going to bend over and hit the spoon again and listen. It sounds like a bell. And so then I'm going to walk around, try different surfaces. That's pretty cool sound. There are lots, lots of cool sounds that you'll be able to find all around you that make great vibrations. So I'd love to hear about your experience. So please come and tell me and tell me what you think about vibrating and sound and how they go together. Keep your eyes open or I should say keep your ears open because every sound you hear is caused by a vibration traveling through the air to get to your sweet little ears. Bye!